I'm not doing it again. <laughs> I need to put this thing together. Man, I tell you what, you gotta have some pretty small fingers. Be part Kearney to get all that nonsense hooked up. What a pain in the ass. And this is the, these are the easy ones. The back doors are the easy ones. Yeah, let's see. Still a lot of stuff in there. One of the problems that I've been experiencing getting all these mechanisms squared away and is those clips, those little plastic clips. They're so dry rotten and brittle they just fall apart. So I'm having to replace all of them. And as you know, everything Jeep is, you know, hecka expensive. So if you want to save a little bit of money, I'll put a link in the description for some of those clips. Um, the same type of clips will fit in a Silverado and they're a hell of a lot cheaper than the ones for the Jeep for some reason. And there's more of them. Apparently, they tend to break a lot in a Silverado. So I'll put links in the description for that stuff. Those little retention clips. They look like that. I try to keep from cursing. You can watch me put this one on. <sighs> See, like that one just broke right off. up the jeep he said it'll be fun he said times you think I'm gonna pull that screw comment in the comment section that only took uh, 48 minutes and 34 seconds the struggle is real one more door, and the doors will be operational again. But I'm not going to bore you with that, because I'm a nice guy. So, I can put the screws back in this hand, in this uh, latch, and I'll be done with this door. And, and it's just 48 more minutes of struggle on that side. Okay. Oh, joy. This one might only take 20 minutes, because none of the other 
none of the uh, linkages are disconnected so I don't have to struggle like a goof for all of them I just need to struggle like a goof to get that one in which means I'll probably have to take that off and I'll ball break and I'll be in it for an hour anyway so yeah yeah I had to take it out it was pretty gummed up no hunters here Not bad. Oh, I forgot a piece of masking. Get the fuck out of the way! God damn it! Oh! Eight twenty eight still running. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Eighth time is the charm. took roughly five and a half hours or so. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten. All right, so what am I gonna do next? I am going to uh, quit for the day. That's what I'm gonna do next. Well, I'm gonna put the bumper on. I got the front bumper on. I'll put the back bumper on. I'll put the fender flares on. Um, I'll see if, I see about uh, maybe putting the top pieces of stainless in I have to look at it because I got to get the the sweeps yet I guess I could put the mirrors on mm, what if I know oh, I need to get a T for the for the uh, squirters because that's just as brittle as the rest of the plastic in this thing so <clears throat> that's all I got for today that was I knew that was going to suck when I took them apart Sometimes you just have to embrace the suck and, and muscle through it. It's dark in here. So right now I need to move this out of the way because my wife's coming home tonight. And uh, move this over so you can pull the car in and get the rest of this shit out of the driveway. And so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it here, guys. And ladies, I'm sorry. There's, there's a couple of gals that watch my stuff too, so... Um, Hunters out in the backyard, booting and howling. Uh, if you like this, hoop the old Jeep. Doesn't that look nice?
It does look nice. If you like that hoop deal, Jeep, smash that like button and share this video with your vast social media network. And that lets YouTube know that I'm not such a bad guy after all. Maybe we'll get lucky and, and YouTube will start putting this out to more eyeballs. If you haven't subbed to this channel yet, consider it. Underneath this window is a little button that says subscribe. Click that and the little bell icon right next to it. So you won't miss a single episode of This Town Foolery. Check the links in the description for products that I used in these bills and also for, you know, gear that I used to make these videos. And until next time, you have fun, stay safe, shoot straight, keep the powder dry, and have a splendid day. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Okay, just one more thing I put that on. <laughs>